I mean, a $500 FPV can take out a million dollar tank in the one days. Uh, a dog would cost a couple of thousands, can take over task uh, where you have otherwise uh, deployed a lot of technic communication systems and at least uh, three to uh, five soldiers. So the systems can save lives and are significant for modern warfare and our tactics in the future. So this dog, uh, BAT-1, uh, is not the version what is already deployed uh, with our forces. Uh, we deployed the BAT-2, uh, the advanced version would have significant uh, increased capabilities, uh, a much more developed AI uh, as well is able to perform um, much better in urban environments. Even something was laying on the ground as for the dogs, uh, now and there is no problem anymore. Uh, it can work backwards, forwards, uh, sideways. Uh, especially in this warfare, uh, where you have a lot of drones in use and can't send people in. Uh, you can bring with a dog, especially in urban environment, uh, because of the speed. So when you want to position the dog on an overwatch position, you can walk him up. You have no problem to climb high grounds. So these ground conditions are normally uh, not the best for um, operation with robotics. But the uh, new systems are capable of working in different environments. When it's fall down, uh, this dog uh, is not standing up by its own. It's, uh, I mean, also not developed for surveillance operations or operations uh, for special purposes, let us say. The dog would be deployed, uh, this we can uh, expose or say, uh, have a function that he understands where he is. Uh, so that means even when he falls, he understands how to turn automatically. So the operator don't have to push any buttons anymore. What you have here with this dog, you still have to push buttons that the dog is standing up. So the uh, bad two dog uh, have a swarm capability. So you can deploy up to five dogs who walk and uh, patrol autonomous or controlled uh, and secure a whole area on the front line in urban environment or um, fields, um, especially in urban environments, to be honest. Start working um, to uh, uh, explore the trench, um, see where booby traps are, especially with the thermal imaging in the LADA systems. Uh, to see if there are explosive, uh, explosives in the trench uh, or any threats for the assault unit. The reason uh, why we train uh, at the moment soldier on the system and uh, deployed in Ukraine is to increase the safety of soldiers and operations, to so save lives. 